What's going on guys, it's Simo. It's time again for another Yu-Gi-Oh meme video. This time I posed the question, send me your best memes that only new Yu-Gi-Oh players would understand. And we started off with this meme right here that says, when a new player goes to a local and complains about all the new broken stuff. You guys remember your first time going to locals because I sure won't forget mine. The first time I went to locals with my haphazardly built warrior toolbox deck, keep in mind this was about 2004-ish. And when I went to locals, my first opponent it was someone who dropped Chaos Emperor Dragon and proceeded to Yada Lock me. And here we are 16 years later. Now one of you guys sent this meme, which is the exact same template, but this one says, Yu-Gi-Oh players when they see Magic the Gathering players lose their shit over an OP card that is completely dominating the meta. You know, I think as Yu-Gi-Oh players, we deal with so much abuse when it comes to the level of power creep in our game that when we see other games complaining about power creep, there is no comparison. Me. Activate a hand trap to stop my opponent, the guy I'm playing, and I took that personally. Have any of you guys ever played against an opponent who actually broke down and started crying or wanted to get physically violent as a result of you stopping one of their plays? Because I've actually experienced both and it's not fun. Look, I've been around the world, okay? Whatever it is, I'll understand. Hidden rulings, link monsters, pendulum monsters, meta, and top tier decks. There's nothing about this I understand. Yu-Gi-Oh is just so complicated for anyone who wants to try to learn it that there's not even a really good place to start. I mean, yeah, you could pick up a starter deck or a structure deck, but good luck. Not even the rule book that comes with that's going to help you. Do they even still come with rule books? New Yu-Gi-Oh players. What decks are budget friendly? Experienced Yu-Gi-Oh players. Cloudians. Gren Maju. That one guy who makes decks that cost $500. Anything with Dogmatica. Yeah, when you have someone recommending decks that are going to cost you an arm and a leg, those are definitely not budget. I will say though, Gren Maju's probably one of the best budget options out there. I mean, you can build that deck almost entirely out of common, so that's pretty neat. Honestly, Yu-Gi-Oh is just an arms race at this point. Yeah, well, my attack is higher. Yeah, well, I can lower it or buff it myself. Yeah, well, I can destroy you with an effect. Yeah, well, I can't be destroyed by your effect. Well, my effect doesn't destroy. Well, I'm immune to targeting. Well, I don't target. Well, I'm blanket immune to everything. Yeah, well, I have kaijus. Yeah, well, I have enough resources to recover from losing one monster. Yeah, well, I have quick removal, so you won't be able to go off. <laughs> oh my god. That's actually rather frighteningly accurate. When you want to play budget, but then you have to pay for hand traps. To be fair, for anyone watching this at the end of 2020, hand traps have become significantly more affordable over the years. I mean, back in the day when we were having to pay like 80 to 90 dollars for a single copy of Ash Blossom, and now it's a common in the Salomon Great Structure deck, I think that's just a testament to how far we've truly come. Do I look like I know what a co-link is? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have much to say to this one. This one's just pretty funny. When a new guy finishes his turn with just one extra deck monster, and then you begin making a multi-card combo. The new guy. Oh. <laughs> SpongeBob memes are always going to be top tier. Nothing's ever going to dethrone them. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. Hey, Yu-Gi-Oh sounds fun. Hey, spend hundreds of dollars. <laughs> oh, that hurts. You know, to be fair, modern Yu-Gi-Oh might have a high barrier to entry, but a lot of older formats have had so many of their cards printed at like common or rare now that it's actually pretty easy to pick them up. I think you can play GOAT format for like 20 to 30 bucks. And that's a format that some people revere as one of the best formats of all time. So if you're looking to play Yu-Gi-Oh on the cheap, maybe you should check out goat format when you haven't played after exceeds and you hear about pendulum and links take this shit and get out i can really empathize with this one because when Yu-Gi-Oh was starting to go through the evolution of the different summoning mechanics synchro was pretty easy to grasp i mean it's basically just like a slightly more complicated link summoning exceeds summoning was pretty simple you just had to have the same level and you overlaid them but when you get to pendulum i think making that leap was what really turned a lot of people off when a new player realizes what Mystic Mind does. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't even pertain to new players necessarily. Returning players, veteran players, we all feel this way when we're on the receiving end of a mystic mine. Cosmo, Burning Abyss, Performa Pal, Necroz, Shadal, Mermail, E-Hero, Blackwing, Chainburn. <laughs>
<laughs> Again, with the SpongeBob memes, I can't. I think if I had to pick my favorite, it's probably the Necroz one because it's SpongeBob wearing Mr. Krabs' shell. And uh, that perfectly embodies what Necroz is. I think it's either that or the Chain Burn because, uh, yeah, that's probably the mental capacity you have if you play Chain Burn. Person, two owes me. So what exactly does your deck do? Me. Good question. This reminds me of a funny story. So I one time sat down at a tournament and it wasn't my opponent, but I believe it was the opponent of the person to my left. And that person sat down and asked the guy sitting next to me what he was playing. The guy said, well, I'm not going to tell you that till we start playing. And so he's like, oh, I just want to know what your deck does. So the guy next to me asks, are you going to tell me what your deck does? And the opponent responded with, I don't even know what my deck does. And I just thought that was so funny. Needless to say, he got pretty easily 2 owed Any bad deck lacking consistency? Me trying to innovate. I feel like this is a great meme template that doesn't even have to pertain to Dragoon. You could probably replace Dragoon with like a hundred different cards and this meme would probably still be just as funny. Isn't this great? Just you, me, and this brick wall you built between us. <laughs> God damn it, you guys. Not only is it a SpongeBob meme, but it's a Monarch Brick meme as well. This is probably as accurate as it gets, so good job with this one. New player, the rule book. Well-known rulings. That one obscure ruling from 2013. Oh, I've had this happen to me in the later stages of a tournament, and that is something that has haunted me for years. A lot of new players are just going to be in the phase one meta of this meme, but a lot of people I think can relate to the last part. Me with a garbage opening hand. I activate Pot of Desires, draw two. Somehow every opponent. I'm about to end this man's whole career. You know, it's kind of funny. I feel like every time I don't need Pot of Desires to resolve, they don't have the Ash Blossom, but every time I'm betting everything that Pot of Desires does resolve, they do always have the Ash Blossom. It's kind of funny how those things work. When none of your combos are working, so you just start card spamming. Random bullshit. Go! This is especially funny if you give a newer player a combo deck that they've like never played before because they'll try to play it and they'll realize they have no idea what they're doing and they'll just start literally throwing out every single card they possibly can. Sad at locals that I bought three boxes with no good pulls. That random new player that bought only two packs. Is this good? Oh my god. The amount of times I I've seen this happen where the player who has absolutely no idea what they're doing pulls like the hundred dollar hundred and fifty dollar chase card of the set and everyone just swarms in because they want it i can't even begin to count the amount of times that that happens at this point i'm starting to think it's rigged me this deck seems to do really good right now i should pick it up and play it ban list drops a few days later my deck <laughs> i don't know if you guys have ever experienced being on your way to a tournament and having the deck that you were planning on playing get hit by some sort of a emergency ban list or you were wanting to pick up some deck and then they dropped the ban list completely unannounced and that completely ruined the deck that you were going to play. I think this happens a lot to new Yu-Gi-Oh players and I can really sympathize with them on that one. My competitive friend let me borrow their deck. I won't lose to him now but I don't know any of the combos. <laughs> this is exactly what I was saying. Beginner Yu-Gi-Oh players. Oh boy a new game to learn. This will be fun. Yu-Gi-Oh's rule book. I I'm a head out. You know I want to laugh at this one, but it's really hard to when that's just so true. Person, you can't describe a scene from Yu-Gi-Oh using only shapes and colors. Me. I really hate that I understand this. And honestly, if you're watching this and you understand it, you should hate yourself too. New players getting into Yu-Gi-Oh via the anime. New players realizing that Blue Eyes or Dark Magician isn't the best deck. <laughs> oh yeah, there's so many times where I get messages from people saying, yeah, can you help me with a competitive Blue Eyes deck or competitive Dark Magician deck? And there's really only so much you can do to really make those decks competitive. You guys should have played back in Blue Eyes format when that was around for like, what, three weeks? Because that was the best shot Blue Eyes was going to have it winning anything after losing several matches against some friends. Fuck you and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> If there is a meme that encompasses everything about Yu-Gi-Oh in a single meme, it's this one. When new Yu-Gi-Oh players find out that Yu-Gi-Oh is nothing like the anime, my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. The original anime is how so many people actually got into the game, so it's a shame that so many people have the expectation that that's what it's like, and I guess the newer anime does a slightly better job at that, but it's still not the same. New player. So it's just like the Pokemon trading card game? Veterans. Well, yes, but actually 
know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a huge Yu-Gi-Oh fan and all, but you might want to stick with Pokemon after seeing this one. Casual players. All you ever do is spam three copies of a card. And all you ever do is lose. <laughs> oh, shit. Kaiba's talking facts right there. Hey, SpongeBob, does this look dangerous? <laughs> You guys in the SpongeBob memes, you gotta chill. Yu-Gi-Oh cards then, Yu-Gi-Oh cards now. It's really not a surprise when you see so many of the veteran Yu-Gi-Oh players absolutely relishing when we get a new card that only has like one line of text because that's what we're used to from 15 years ago. And honestly, that ends up making some of the most powerful cards in the game on top of it. Back in my day, we only summoned one monster per turn. After playing so much history of Yu-Gi-Oh and Yu-Gi-Oh progression series, it is definitely definitely a different game. What do you mean that this isn't an Xyz monster? <laughs> I can actually see newer players getting confused by this because yes, XYZ Dragon Cannon is a fusion monster. I get that. But like, if you think about it conceptually and how Xyz monsters work, I can see where someone might get tripped up by that. XYZ Dragon Cannon, the OG synchro and Xyz monster. When you already lost, but your opponent is still summoning monsters. Shut the fuck up. Please shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh yeah. I think we've all been there, buddy. That's for sure. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this meme video. I have a ton of fun making these and you guys are submitting some great memes. Be sure to follow me on Twitter for when I make the announcement for the next one and your meme might get featured. Thank you so much for watching the video and we'll see you next time.